I have some questions for religious people, specifically Christians, but any religion can answer these if it applies, um, especially conservative Christians with their crap all in our politics. Keep it out of politics, please, just like you want sports and uh, entertainers to shut up. So should your people like Tim Tebow. Um, so my questions are, what is a soul? Please explain this to me. I was raised religious Christian, never understood what a soul was, never had a logical explanation. Now, next question. Please answer them in the comments. First, what is a soul? That Some people say animals don't have souls. They don't matter. We can torture them, do whatever we want, shove them in our Chick-fil-A buckets, whatever even if they come from nasty factory farms. So answer what a soul is. Two, does praying work? Or is it just talking to yourself in lip service? Okay, I pray everyone will go vegan, stop animal cruelty. Okay, is it going to magically happen? Magical thinking? That's a mental health issue. Magical thinking is supposed to end in childhood. Does praying work? So if we all just pray animals, I pray that you will go vegan. You Christians will stop abusing animals for more than just Lent and be good, better people like Buddhists, Rastafarian, Hare Krishna, and Seven Day Adventists. They will magically happen. So tell me your thoughts on prayer. Do they work or not? What's the point then? I believe thoughts minus action equals zero. And I believe it's a thought talking to yourself and wishful thinking. Next. Is God a man or a woman? Black or white? They gave birth to Jesus. He's supposed to be his son. Is Jesus uh, white or black or somewhere in between? Um, as we know, he's not a white male. Um, but if he's a regular person, how would a God give birth to them? What is this God? Is it creature? Is it invisible? Is it a puppet just pulling strings? Why isn't it intervening with horrible things, mental illness, diseases, cancer? If it's all powerful, these are not free will decisions. Um, why we and other species need to be a dog-eat-dog -dog situation. Um, we obviously need help. Um, intervene. It's anytime now. <laughs> um, so is Jesus a human? I mean, zombie rising. I believe Jesus was just a typical normal person, a very good person, which most conservatives would hate. They would call him a communist today and would probably do the same thing, burn him or hang him on a cross. Um, but I just believe he was a regular good Arab man. Um, now, how do you know your religion is right out of all the thousands of religions? That's the next question answer in the comments. There's thousands of religions and superstitions, which I view them all as. Um, next, the Bible. Obviously, it was written by man. Um, I think it was before because it was before laws to control people. Um, repent or else, all these empty threats. God-fearing, I think that's paranoia. It's a mental health concern, paranoia, magical thinking beyond childhood um, so those are my first questions soul what is God what is a soul um, does prayer work how do you know your religion is the right religion the Bible um, why do you selectively cafeteria Christians pick and choose what to follow you hate gays you hate reproductive rights of women and birth control um, which is kind of conflictary because Gays often adopt the half million kids and teenagers in the foster care system. They pay all parents' welfare, like pub socialist public schools, your child tax credits and stuff. So you should be thanking gays, first of all. They're an asset. They're paying you welfare, basically. But um, the Bible also says no shellfish. And I don't see protests of red lobster um, or crawfish. Um, it also projects against divorce, premarital sex. I don't see them protesting that as much as they're doing against gays. So 
is it just pick and choose what you want to follow? I mean, that's what religious freedom is about. Even baking someone a cake, that's not saying you endorse it or you're supporting it, you're doing your job. So it's used for bigotry like Huckabee, Kim Davis, Pence, um, keeping it in our politics. And the final thing is church is the biggest charity and such a little small percent goes to helping people. Um, you have um, people donating. I think it's to a church. I think it's like brown nosing. Oh, I'll get to heaven if I brown nose. I just worry about being a good person. I'd rather volunteer weekly than brown nose. If I was God, I would not want people kissing my butt every week. I would say go out there and volunteer and help others every week and donate that money to help others every week. Support human and animal rights. Don't be kissing my butt. Do something good. I'd rather reward something good. Not lip service, brown nosing. But that's my perspective if I was an uh, all-powerful being. And I would create people differently to not be so selfish and greedy to cause so much suffering. Um, obviously, there's something wrong mentally. Yeah, we're so greedy and selfish with all the human and animal suffering. Much of it is preventable not all of it that's why i'm saying also why was this world created so cruel which is out of our control in many regards so answer those questions please and please stop using religious freedom as an excuse you're using your religion for political pawning um, for political gain and using it as a sword and a shield like a coward a sword and a shield hiding behind it to discriminate, use animals, abuse, take advantage or oppress women, and much more. So, please answer those questions and exercise logic. And please, we need to cut the Christian crap of extremism um, and God-fearing paranoia. So please explain those issues to me the best you can. Again, what is a soul? Does praying work? God, a human, or what? Jesus, what's the deal there? The Bible. Um, and please volunteer weekly and donate to a real charity. Thank you very much.